Hi guys, so today is 74th Independence Day in India and I wish you all a very happy Independence Day. So for this day, I thought of making an Indian flag using Python. I thought it would be something creative and interesting. So let's see what will be the output by the end of this video. So if I run this. So first of all the Ashok Chakra is being created. Then the green part of the flag will be made. And then the orange and that will complete our whole flag. You can say orange or saffron color. So that completes our Indian flag and if you want to know how we can create this then just keep following this tutorial. So the prerequisites for this would be the basics of Python as well as some basics of Turtle. So if you don't know anything about Turtle, it's a very simple Python library. I have already created a video on this so you can open the channel, subscribe it and also check the playlist named as Turtle in Python. In that playlist, the first video would be Turtle Basics. So you can open that and then watch this video. Now let's dive into the code for this Indian flag. So I have created a new file and I have named it as Indian flag. Don't name it turtle.py because then it will give you error. Name it anything else but not turtle.py. So first of all, what we do is import turtle and then write turtle dot turtle again with capital T this time and assign this to a variable. I am assigning it to the variable small t. So first of all let's create the Ashok Chakra. So for that we need to create a circle and in that circle there are 24 strokes. So basically there are 24 lines like these from the center of the circle. Okay something like this. The whole circle is of 360 degrees, right? And if you calculate 360 divided by 24 is 15 degrees. So my idea for this is that let's assume this is our center of the screen and we first of all create a line like this. Then we move backward on the same path and then with 15 degrees of angle, we create another line like this and then again move back to this path and this and this whole process will be completed and all the 24 strokes will be done then uh, after all the 24 strokes are done then we create a circle around it okay so that's my thinking there are multiple ways by which you can do this this is the way i thought of so let's write this in the code so we will write a for loop for i in range 24 because we need 24 strokes and for that we will write first of all t dot forward and let's keep it 80 then t dot backward again 80 because as I told you first we will create a downward line then we will move, move back to the center point then we will shift it to some angle of 15 degree so for that t dot left 15 degree and let's see the output for this so you can see our 24 strokes were completed now for the circle part let's write t dot circle and uh, since our forward and backward lines are of 80 pixel length, so we will make the radius of same length uh, that is 80 pixels and since this will be a full circle, so I will write 360 here and let's run this again. So hopefully this will be the perfect output that we want. Alright, it isn't. So this is not what we really expected and I am able to understand the reason behind that. So before this loop, let's create a function called move. Okay, and this will have parameters x, y. Again, if you don't know Python basics, I am creating a playlist for that as well. Soon the whole playlist will be available. So we will first of all write t dot pen up. Then I will write t dot go to x comma y 
and t dot pen down so what this function will do is for example we make a square box here right and if we want to make a circle here then obviously we don't want this line to be made and then the circle to be made we want that this portion is not drawn here so basically in real life also if you want something like this so for that you will lift your pen up and then move to this position this particular position and then start drawing the circle so similarly in this case also as shown in the previous video which was of turtle basics i told that this code these three lines will do the same work it will lift the pen up then move to a particular position uh, as per the x y coordinates that we enter and then it will again put the pen down and then we can proceed with the code so before this circle we will write move 0 comma minus 80 let's see if we get the perfect output and i'll also tell you the reason behind the minus 80 i have written in the move function all right so we got our perfect output now let me explain why i have written minus 0 comma minus 80 so this center of the circle here which i have marked red now is the coordinate 0 comma 0 by default okay and this whole circle is of the radius 80 and all these strokes also of 80 uh, length now by default our circle function in turtle creates an anti-clockwise circle like this and if you want to wrap these all strokes by a circle so for that we need to move the arrow right at this position where it is currently present okay so as this center point is at 0 comma 0 and the length or the radius here is of 80 we need to move on the y axis downwards that is basically in negative y axis so we write minus 80 and since we are not moving uh, in the x axis so we have written 0 only there so that's the whole reasoning behind writing 0 comma minus 80 here now we are done with our ashok chakra so let's write here ashok chakra but one thing is missing our color is not blue yet so for that we can write t dot color blue and this will make it blue now but this is kind of a light blue and not exactly the navy blue that is actually present in the ashok chakra so for that we can add our custom color as well and to get the custom color what you can do is you can write hex color code and open up any website that you see so this is the first website that we get and i will have to remove the dark mode for proper visibility so since i used this before also it is already set to the previous color that i used so i'll directly copy this you can you know adjust all the colors and see what color suits you the best and choose that color only so i will copy this hex code and instead of blue we will write hashtag and this code that we copied from this and now if you run this we must get a good navy blue color and a thick pen size so if you notice that the arrow is currently present here here okay so that will be necessary to create the green part of the flag now so for green part of the flag we basically already have our ashok chakra like this let's assume this is the ashok chakra and our arrow is present here right now so for that first of all let's move 350 pixels forward so these values that i'm mentioning like 350 is just a random value you can use any value instead of that it just 
perfectly fits my idea so that's why i am using the 350 length so we move it 350 then what we do we move it back 700 because now it was here so to double the length we will move back 700 and this will be present here now the arrow will be at this place now then what we do is we move 90 degree towards right so that will basically turn the arrow in this direction downward direction and we move 200 distance forward now our arrow is downwards like this and we want to move in this direction so for that we need to first of all turn it towards left by 90 degree okay then it will turn it this way and again we move 700 distance forward and it will stop right here now again we need to move it towards top direction so again left 90 degree and this will turn it this way and we move 200 distance forward again so this will create our green portion so first of all let us write t dot color green small g and then we thought of moving t dot forward 350 then t dot backward 700 then t dot right 90 degree t dot forward 200 t dot left 90 let's just copy paste this now all right guys so i hope this whole code will completely make the green part of our flag but we have missed one point that is we need to write begin fill as well as end fill here to completely fill it with green color earlier this much portion was only basically out making the outline of the rectangle not filling it with it so again if you don't know begin fill and end fill i have covered the basics of turtle in the previous video so do check it out and let's also increase the speed for now and run this so as you can see our shok chakra and the green part of the flag is made perfectly now and do notice that our arrow ends up here in the left direction okay and also now we need to move our arrow somewhere here towards the right direction so that we can create a orange rectangle and fill it with the orange color so for that if you remember this was the zeroth mark of the x-axis right and we moved 350 distance here so basically this particular point would be minus 350 on x-axis and for y-axis it would be 80 so let's do this we first of all move move minus 350 comma 80 so let's and let's change the color to t dot color orange let's run and see if our arrow is at the right place right now okay but the direction is incorrect still so we will turn it uh, 180 degree right so t dot right 180 degree and now let's proceed with making the whole rectangle so for that we need to move 700 distance forward and then to move 90 degree left so t dot left 90 degree 
then again this process will kind of repeat itself so here we need to mention 200 let's see this should complete our whole flag now okay i missed one t dot forward 200 so t dot forward 200 and this will finally complete our flag something's missing so the orange color is missing and we forgot to write t dot begin fill and t dot end fill so guys this will surely finally complete our whole indian flag and i hope you really like this and please let me know in the comment section if you like this and you made this yourself as well or not. And again, a very happy Independence Day. And I really hope you subscribe this channel if you really want all such fun tutorials in Python. As well as the programming tips that are really necessary and some self-branding tips as well. So do subscribe and please like the video as well. Thanks guys.